skate park closed abruptly in San Bernardino after reports of vandalism. Now the local skaters are looking for a safe place to go. And many of them are asking kids who use the skate park right after school. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in San Bernardino with more. Shelby. Yeah, we are at the East Side Skate Park here in San Bernardino, and what skaters tell us is this area gets extremely packed when it is open. Well, now it's closed, and the only other two options are two other parks here in San Bernardino, but they say those are in unsafe areas, not to mention a lot of these kids don't drive, so it's unsafe to skate all the way over there. We just want to skate. And this is where I've met all my friends. So this is more more than a skate park. This is like a second home to me. It's my home park. Um, I've been going there since I was a kid. A community of skateboarders that's now a family, all thanks to the East Side Skate Park on Arden Avenue in San Bernardino. But now the gates are shut and chained up. What once also had several quarter pipes is nearly empty. They took it down, said due to vandalism. So right now we're trying to push the city to see if they're actually going to rebuild our park. Darian Blair and Joshua Chavez, who is also known as Primo, are among dozens of skateboarders calling to save East Side Skate Park. It's really a big family that seems like it's getting torn apart. For most, the park serves a bigger purpose and welcomes kids of all ages in a city that was recently ranked one of the most dangerous in California. Mom Roberta Hernandez says her son uses the park as an escape. My thing is him knowing where he's at. Is, is a big thing that he's here at the skate park. He's not running the streets. He's not robbing. He's not getting shot at. You know, it's, it's nerve wracking, but at the same time, like I could check up on him. I could check up on the other boys. This park is 12 or 13 years old. And so it was a perfect storm of apparatuses that were built of metal and wood that were reaching their expected lifespan, as well as some vandalism we believe by homeless. Uh, that set fires to uh, the structures. City spokesperson Jeff Krause says most of the structures were no longer safe. The city now working to fit rebuilding the park into its budget that Krause says is expected to be approved in the coming months. So, Shelby, is there any chance that the city will renovate and reopen the state the skate park? Yeah, sure. That's the big question. And the big news, or the good news also, is that they say yes, it is going to be rebuilt from the ground up. They don't have an estimate of how much this is going to cost. That's why they are going to be bringing this up and addressing it in the upcoming city council meetings. Now, in the meantime, that spokesperson tells me that they are addressing this with also design teams and talking to local skateboarders to see what they want to have in the future. They're hoping to have everything finalized within the year. That's the very latest here in San Bernardino. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.